Uh, just to forewarn you, my set is going to be very still because I'm rather large and these lights are rather hot. This feels like comedy rotisserie. I feel like I'm doing my jokes on a Boston market. A horse walks into a bar! Bartender asks him why the long face. That was funny. Uh, just to start off my set with a bit of a public service announcement. Stop trying to be so politically correct. In this day and age, a lot of people are worried about being labeled a bigot accidentally. Like, they don't want to have to worry about that. Knowing that fact, I like to have a little bit of fun with that. You guys could try this on your free time, why not? Here's what I do to have a little fun with that fact. I like to find a large group of unassuming white people. <laughs> bantering amongst themselves. Work my way into the midst of them. I wait till it gets real quiet and then I scream out, what do you mean, you people? And they start apologizing, <laughs> offering reparations, it's great. I did that on the train the other day. This one white guy decided to speak for the whole car. Listen, man, I don't know who said that, but I would like to offer you my iPod. I'm sorry. <laughs> we square, bro? We square. I fist pounded and went along my way. Pounded, dude. Perfect. Perfect example of how nervous we are about race. Whenever Black History Month rolls around, if you notice, certain restaurants change their specials to what they think will be more ethnically appealing dishes. And I'm sure the restaurants have the best interest at heart, but some of them don't turn out too well. Like you walk in and you see the special posted on the door and it'll read out, in honor of Black History Month, this week our special will be chicken and waffles. Like really, is that really, is that where you wanna go with this? Is that? Next week's special will be watermelon and basketballs. Basketballs aren't edible. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with this. I am done with this establishment. Like, I just want to know, who's the black coworker that's signing off on all these suggestions? Who's giving management the okay that this is what you should do? Hey boss, come here for a second, come here for a second. Come here. Want to know how to bring in more black people? You should put chicken and waffles on the menu. <laughs> no, it's not offensive. Who's the black employee here, me or you? We gonna be rolling in the dollars. Oh, suck it, suck it. Did I really just say, oh, suck it, suck it? I was about to, then I stopped myself. Right. <laughs> Dating is hard. I'll uh, give the ladies a little bit of um, advice. If you are going out with a guy and he's stupid enough to pay for your dinner as well. Um, <laughs> it's a recession. So if you find a guy who's dumb enough to pay for your dinner, it's common courtesy to eat the whole meal right in front of him. That's all I'm saying. There will be no doggy bags when you go out with me. There will be no taking your food home. I paid for you to eat it. I don't know who's gonna eat it when you go home. It's common courtesy. Every guy in here has been in this situation where the girl goes, I, I'm full, I'm just gonna wrap this up and take this home for my brother. He loves steaks. I'm dating your brother now? That's what I'm doing? I'm dating your brother now, huh? <laughs> thought this was a singular date. And uh, I know this is a bit of a touchy subject, but um, yeah, if I agree to pay for your dinner, uh, it's a common courtesy that you should tell me if you have an eating disorder. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> You're not gonna be throwing up $40 worth of my lobster, all right? Let that digest, it's just rude. I'm very serious about that. I will follow you into the ladies' bathroom. Boom! Really, really? Gonna throw up $50 worth of lobster? Could've had the chicken tenders, all right? Get an eating disorder on your own money, all right? You're selfish, we're over. Mm -hmm -hmm. I walk out without a care in the world that I just, Shattered this girl's life by revealing to the world she has an eating disorder. Um, <laughs> bit of dating advice for the fellas in here. Pay very close attention to this. If this question ever comes up, if a chick ever asks you what's your favorite TV show, fellas, never say Law and Order Special Victims Unit. It's a mood killer. It's a mood killer. 
It's not the show you want to go with. First of all, they'll try to trick you into it. It's okay for women to say they like it, but guys cannot say that they like that show. And like, if you, even if you slip and say you like it, like, stop right there. Don't go over the top. Don't start li- naming episodes. <laughs> like, oh, oh, the Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, the one where they tied up the 10 year old in the warehouse and then bent it. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Is this date over already? I have your address. <laughs> Can't escape me that easy. Being in a relationship is difficult too, because sometimes you have like odd times and rough patches. Like this, I I don't know if any guy can relate to this, but I think a lot of you can. When your girlfriend puts you in like an awkward fight situation, just a hypothetical fight situation, just because she wants to test how far you will go to protect her. It's not a real fight. It's just something she drew up in a crazy little head, and she's gonna run it by you to see how you react to it. I had that situation the other day. My girlfriend taps me on the shoulder and she goes, hey, baby, baby, just, just a random question for you. What would happen if we were walking down the street, right, and then all of a sudden, alien and predator just pop out and they start fighting, <laughs> and then predator turns and calls me a hoe? What would you do? I was like, first of all, let's slow this down. Let's slow this crazy train down. There's many holes in your story. First of all, Predator has been in about six movies. He doesn't speak a word of English. He doesn't. All of a sudden, he's just going to get the Rosetta Stone in the human language to call you a hoe. I think you're putting too much on this. I think you're putting a little too much on this. Second of all, why are we walking down this street? Why didn't we just turn back and make a detour when we saw two extraterrestrials fighting? That's just... My little opinion on the matter... I'll leave you guys with a little bathroom joke because I'm classy. Uh, I, was in a, I was in a fancy restaurant the other day and I walked into the bathroom and they had a bathroom attendant, which is unusual to me in the first place, but that's not what got me. Right over his head, there was a sign that said, here for your assistance. There was a sign that said, here for your assistance. Now, fellas, uh, I've been urinating on my own for about 25 some odd years now. (laughs) When I'm in the bathroom, this thought has never crossed my mind. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help with this. I'm gonna need a hand. (laughs) Hey, bro, can you spot me? It's really heavy. It's really, oh, you're here for my assistance. Don't make things weird, dude. Just grab on. All right. You guys have been fun. My name is Ray Marshall. Have a good night.